It looks like the season of divorce is upon us once again because Eva Marcel just announced she's dumping her husband, Michael Sterling. This has the internet in a chokehold because we thought they were in game, but it looks like there was just too much drama going on behind the scenes. And you're not going to believe the reason Eva filed for divorce. Hmm, did Michael really cheat on Eva of all people? Okay, so Eva Marcel filed for divorce from her husband, Michael Sterling. They've been married since 2018. And I know that divorces are super common in Hollywood because Hollywood marriages be lasting for like five business days. But Eva and Michael really seemed like things were going great for them. I mean, Michael even officially adopted Eva's daughter, Marley, that she had from a previous marriage. They even officially changed Marley's name to Sterling because he was pretty much her father in all but blood. If that ain't love, then I don't know what is. Apart from Marley, they also have two kids together and their marriage has always looked solid. They even celebrated their fourth wedding anniversary in October last year. And Eva wrote, on this day, four years ago, my soul found it's me. Happy anniversary, my love. That's not all because they still celebrated Valentine's Day together a few weeks ago. And Michael said, my forever Valentine. I am so in love with you that there isn't anything else. Happy St. Valentine's Day. Oh. But how on earth did they go from being each other's forever Valentine and being obsessively in love with each other to filing for divorce only in a matter of weeks? And before y'all come for me, I know that social media isn't always real because people do be lying and everything on social media, but nobody thought that they could be faking things. People went back under Michael's Valentine's Day post to leave comments like, you guys were so in love just a month ago. How could you be divorcing now? Pray and work to save your marriage. I love you two together. And how is there a divorce filing only a month after this post? But on March 23rd, Eva legally filed for divorce from Michael and she asked the judge to dissolve their marriage. She also claimed Claim that she is currently separated from Michael. And this is the major shocker because it kind of suggests that they were already separated at the time that Michael made that Valentine's Day post. From what I know, it's recommended that you have to be separated for some time before filing for a divorce. And one month is usually the case. The divorce filing happened just a little over a month after Valentine's Day. So it's highly likely that they were already separated at the time, or at the very least, they were having some serious issues in their marriage that they were ultimately unable to fix. Anyway, even Eva didn't give a reason for the divorce when she filed, but she did say that the marriage was irretrievably broken and that there's no going back because there's no hope for reconciliation between them. She also asked for legal and primary physical custody of their three kids. And according to TMZ, Eva says she should be the parent who has the final say on all decisions related to their kids as she feels she's the fit and proper caregiver. Okay, hold on. I don't know about y'all, but her asking for legal custody and wanting to make all decisions for the kids without being legally required to get Michael's input kind of seems sus to me. It kind of sounds like she's mad at him or he did her dirty or something like that. Also, I think it's interesting that she's asking for physical custody and sole decision making rights because that's the same thing she did when she broke up with her daughter's biological dad, Kevin McCall. I'm kind of starting to see a pattern here. And while I'm not saying that she's wrong to want custody of her kids, I'm just saying that it's interesting. Custody is one thing but asking the courts to let her make decisions all decisions without the father just makes it look like there's something seriously wrong somewhere some people believe that michael could have cheated on her and this is why she's leaving him now we don't know for sure that michael cheated on her but if he did then it kind of explains how they managed to go from being a happy couple to being separated and divorced all in a couple of weeks and we all know cheating is not exactly all that rare in hollywood because some of these celebs be wilding uh, anywho she's also asking that Michael pay child support for all three kids, which is standard. She's asking the courts to make him contribute to the kids' medical, dental, and hospitalization costs. And regarding their assets, TMZ reports that Eva says she wants an equitable split of everything they've acquired in the marriage and any debts they've racked up. Everything seems pretty straightforward. And if Michael is on board with the divorce, it should be easy to sort it out soon. I think the custody thing is going to be the main issue here, unless Michael has no interest in having custody, which I don't think that's the case. But then Michael is insisting that he has no plans to even get divorced at all.
all, let alone fighting for custody, he released a statement saying, I am not going to lose my wife. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber in my being. I love her and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side. But Eva doesn't care what he wants because she is done with the marriage. According to insiders, Eva feels like the marriage has run its course and she no longer feels like it's working. She has grown and changed so much and things between her and Michael have changed so much that it no longer makes sense for them to stay in the marriage. She released a statement to People Magazine saying, this has been one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make, but sometimes life takes your journey in a direction you are not expecting. Our children remain our biggest priority and the eight and a half years we have spent together will always be cherished. We ask that you respect our privacy at this time. Someone commented, I love Eva, but these two seem like an odd couple. It seemed like the popular party girl married the nerd that finally got money after she realized broke pookies can't provide the stability she needed or wanted. I didn't think she would divorce him after she made him adopt Marley. Another person said, Eva seems to like men she can control. She was able to take full custody of Marley from her dad. She met Mike and had the big wedding. She got Mike to adopt Marley. Then she birthed two beautiful boys with Mike. Now she's back on TV with her series playing a tough madam. She's in a different phase of her life. She's bored with the housewife role. This other person commented, we never know what truly happened behind closed doors. You can't fake happiness in marriage without love, unyielding support on both sides, commitment, loyalty, desire to stay married, and above all, respect, and marriage will not survive. Truly hope they get back together. So what do y'all think about this divorce? Do you think Michael cheated on her like the streets are saying? Let me know what y'all think and then check out this next video. Oh, 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 oh,